All right, guys, so for this week, we've got our farm animals, and we'll start with the three little pigs. So for these guys, you want to just really loosely get their bodies in and make sure you've got room for all three of your pigs to fill the frame nicely, and then start adding more of the details for their features once you make sure you've blocked out their bodies. Always go for the big shapes first. And then I start defining the nose and the ears and the eyes. And you see I'm holding my pencil from the back part of the pencil. I want to keep everything loose. And try to have nice gestural movements. And these guys have very human-like expressions, so I sort of exaggerate their smiles even more. And then I kind of leave off those very back legs a bit so that you don't have any weird shapes in the background. And then just give them some little hoof feet at the end. Now for painting these guys, I'm starting with green, putting in some of the shadowy cooler areas with a soft green color. And for these guys, I want to kind of loosely and slowly build up the color. So be careful not to get too much all over the place. Just look for the shadow areas first. Now, now a little bit of the warmer colors. So it's kind of just a yellowy brownish mix. And again, not going too overboard, just looking for the warm shadows now. And then the majority of the color is the soft pink. And I just put touches of that here and there and then sort of fade it out with some water.
So I'll go ahead and let that dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to come in with the purples. I don't want it to bleed out all over the place, though, so I'll let those guys dry for a bit. And then the purples for the very dark areas. And then I'm just going to kind of splash in a little bit of color to resemble the hay down at the bottom. And I wanted to use this straw to blow out some little flares, get some spatter effect. So I just get it a bit watery and then point a straw at it and blow. And I always like to sprinkle on a few dots too. So I let that dry and then I'm just going to come in and put on some ink and I just wanted to have some nice curvy lines. That's why everything is very gestural and has a nice sense of movement. Right, be careful not to get too heavy with your blacks here. Once I got those features put in, I felt I needed a little bit more color and contrast, so. Give it the blot test first, and then I'll come back in with some more color.
And you see that extra bit of color really makes a difference in building up their form. And that was it for the pigs. And next we're going to move on to practicing a horse head. And for this guy, I wanted to try out some different sort of experimental techniques with the drips and things. So I want to first get the horse head on here. And I want to make sure that their faces are long and narrow enough. that space between their eyes gets too wide it'll look a little bit crazy and if the snout part of their nose doesn't come down long enough then it'll also look pretty crazy so this feature is as close as possible So for this guy, I'm going to start by painting around the outside. And I'll have the paint come in and connect to the main. And this one is just some loose abstract kind of coloring. So we got bright thalo in there with some green and add some drips. So when you want to drip your painting, all you have to do is add extra water and paint and then hold it up. And here you see I'm connecting the main to the background. And another trick is to skip around a little bit so that you keep your highlights. Got that white in the center just by skipping that little space. And again, I'm just creating little rivers for the paint to flow in by keeping some little areas dry and you can get those nice shapes which create the mane and the look of the hair for you. So in here around the eyes, I've got some green for the softer shadows. And then I'm adding purple out here into the main area so that it gets really dark.
So these are just lightly pulling in the shading, give the face some form. And I'm making sure this guy is predominantly blue. Now I'm adding kind of a yellowy brown mix and that is for the warmer areas. And these are just little touches here and there. And it makes a nice contrast with the blue. They have big giant comma shaped nostrils here. And I'm keeping that highlight that happens on the bottom or on the top lip and then dark for the bottom lip. And then of course, I've got to add my little sprinkles at the end. And I added just a touch of this kind of warmer purple at the very end. And it pops its head out even more.
So the last thing we practiced was doing the cow in the field. And the cow is pretty easy since it's just a big rectangle basically. And we don't do any eyeballs for him, just kind of put the side darks with that white patch in the middle of the face. And then give him some big spots. So for this guy, just kind of playing around and having some fun. So got the whole area around him wet so I can just drop in some paint. And it's always fun to just let it flow, do its own thing. So add some little explosions. And some drips. And then I'm coming in with this lighter blue and letting it bleed out into the grass a little bit and that will connect my whole little subject. Just sprinkling and spraying more little flares of color around. And now for the darks with the purple. So this way with the blue and the purple you get all these fun beautiful mixes of color instead of just painting in black. And with that blue glowing through that purple, you get a really pretty effect. And that was it.